Hi, I'm Andrew Wilson, and this is Dysoville Heroes. So in this game, each player is going to take on the role of one of three superheroes using their special powers to fight the crime that appears in the city. So for the first uh, for the first round, you set up by doing what three of what's called big spawns, which I've already done here. So basically, you roll the two red dice to find a position on the map by using whatever die is farther to the left as the first symbol and the second die as the second symbol. And uh, you place lieutenants in the middle and then surround them with each adjacent space by a minion. There are also villains that can appear if you need to spawn uh, and you're out of other pieces or if you are trying to spawn, for example, if you try to spawn a minion on a minion, it becomes a lieutenant. Or if you try to spawn on top of a lieutenant, it becomes a villain. And you can see here how much power is required to defeat each of them and how many points you gain for that. But basically, in order to play, once you've done that initial setup, you're going to roll all six of the player dice. Or if you're playing a two-player game, then four dice. And all of these dice become available for all the players to use during this round. Uh, through drafting. So, for example, if Yellow, the hero named Rainstone, is going first, she'd be able to choose one of her own dice, which is only threes, or she could choose one of Thunderclap's dice, which he has a four or a six, or Infrared's also got a four and a six. So in this case, she might want to start leveling up her side sidekick ability. Uh, you can't use an ability if it has uh, these squares next to it. That means it needs to be trained first. So she's going to go ahead and take one of Thunderclap's dice, and she's going to draft that six, which is going to help her train this royal sidekick ability. And that means she's going to take one cube and place it here. And once she has two cubes, she'll be able to use that ability. But since she took one of Thunderclap's dice, he gains two points. So we'll go ahead and move him up to two on the VP track. And then it would be Thunderclap's turn. And again, he can draft some dice and take uh, actions. At some point, you're going to do, you can raise your strength as well. So. You can raise up your strength, you start at zero, and then strength is comes into effect if you're going to fight. So I probably wouldn't fight with Thunderclap this early, but let's go ahead and say he wants to take his own four so he doesn't give anyone any points. And he gets to, for this example, I went ahead and moved him up to the, uh, two strength. But let's say he, so he's got two strength and his four fight value, so that adds up to six. And now he can fight crime from the city. And you get to pick any contiguous group. So in this case, these spawns actually happened in such a way that they are all contiguous. So he could choose to fight this group or this group. And with six, he can take out pretty much only minions at this point. So he's going to go ahead and take out three minions. Two of them happen to be in his zone, indicated by these blue outline. So this whole area is blue zone, and that's his zone. And he's encouraged to defeat enemies there. So he's going to spend uh, two, four, six. As you can see, the uh, fight strength of a minion is two. So he's going to take out those three minions. And a minion is worth one point each. But there's a zone bonus of plus one. And two of them were in his area. So he actually gets five points. And here, so I'm just going to put him to five. So that's an example of a fight action. And uh, if he were able to defeat this lieutenant and clear out his zone, he'd get an extra bonus points before some more minions or lieutenants showed up. But basically, over the course of the game, you're going to be building up your powers and fighting crime to earn points. And when somebody has 45 points, the game will end. So that's pretty much the gist of Dysoville Heroes. Thanks for look taking a look. Bye!